Alright guys, got you on video here. Um, going to try not to breathe too loud or make any unnecessary comments. But here is the salt water tank. And as you can see, everything's really blue. And that's because the lights are shining. Mostly blue light because that's what the coral like. I've been pretty rough with this tank here lately. And um, sure enough, I've... Uh, recently dosed it with some stuff to kill the biropsis which is like a hair algae let me get a filter on here hold on oh yes there we go and as you can see got the whole gang here all the algae is doing terrible we're not been, really been doing any water changes I left it for six months and on occasion would change the uh, protein skimmer and it's kept the fish alive they're doing pretty good you know but the algae's not this one had a real bad case of bubble algae I ended up scraping it with peroxide and it killed everything on it but yeah and look at my little anemones up there they're not doing good and you see the hair moving had some biropsis and it's it's getting taken care of pretty good by using um, the the medicine that I had. Let's see if old Gumpy Gills say hi, Gumpy Gills. All right, and everything's run by Alexa. Um, Alexa, turn on sump light. She's got it all timed out. Got the. Protein skimmer, chatomorphia, some uh, carbon. It's all got a camera in the back right there. I'm not sure you can see it, but sometimes I worry that this thing's overflowing while I'm at work or whatever. And if it is, then I can hop on Alexa and tell it to turn off. And that way I'm not making an absolute mess. Sorry, my filters moving I might not even need it yeah I don't even need it but that's the current setup you look back there in the back and you can see the the old myrops is flowing it was a disaster absolute garbage but we're here now get a good shot just the fish moving
So I got into the aquarium hobby um, probably two years ago, sometime around the same time that COVID started. And it was interesting because I was fishing like every weekend and sometimes twice a week. I was going out and I was fishing and it cost a lot of money, like a lot of money, just gas and bait and everything. And I'd always been interested in fish, and I'd wanted to keep an aquarium, and I thought, you know, I can't afford it. And I remember I caught this super small bass, and I thought, hey, I guess it's pretty cool. So I did a bunch of research, and I took my kids to Petco, and next thing you know, I bought a couple fish without really, you know, knowing what to do. Like everybody else, you buy the fish. And then you're like, oh crap, the nitrogen cycle, and hopefully the fish make it through it. And I felt really, really bad after putting my fish through that. And I did a bunch of research and looked into cost analysis. And from there, I kind of just went crazy and bought a couple tanks and got really into it. And I spent probably 300 hours watching YouTube videos, learning about fish. And it was really cool. But I knew that saltwater fish tanks were the creme de la creme, you know what I'm saying? Or the the, 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 the good stuff. It was this bougie. And I, I thought, you know, there's no way I can afford that. Because whenever you look at the prices, saltwater is ten times what freshwater is. And I remember thinking, no, I can't do it. But I was talking to this guy on a forum, his name was Jose... And somebody brought up and said, hey, what is the cheapest that I could run a saltwater tank? And he said, you can have a Nemo, a clownfish, in a 10-gallon fish tank, and you can change the salt water once a week, and you can buy the bucket of salt for $23, and that's half a year. And I thought, you know, if for like basically $100 a year you can keep a clownfish, I can do that. And next thing I know, this giant tank was on sale on Facebook for $300 with the protein skimmer and the sump and everything else. And then after I bought the, the tank, I thought, okay, it comes with all the rocks, we're good. And I had to let it clean off the rocks, and that took like a whole month and a half. And so I had this tank sitting around with some really nice lights and everything else, and I couldn't buy any fish for like a whole month. And... I jumped the gun, like always, and I got in over my head, and I really tried to stick it out, and I thought, you know, this was only supposed to be 100 bucks a year for a Nemo, but I thought, you know, if I keep buying used stuff, if I keep doing the DIY stuff, I could save a ton of money, and the truth is, with salt, you can't do that. You can try, but at the end of the day, it's too, it's too much, I can't handle that, you know? And if you don't maintain your tests, if you don't maintain your, your parameters, it goes bad really quick. Really quick. And the truth is, these fish were expensive. Um, I don't think any of them were over $100, but, you know, it was 60 for the Tamini. It was 69 for the Black Nemo. Um, the Banana Fish, oh boy, uh, the Yellow Rass, he was... Uh, it was about 30 or so. And so you put it all together. I spent over $200 on um, frags. And half of them haven't made it. I've spent over $200 on testing equipment. And, uh, you know, $60 on um, power heads. Uh, $80 to $140 on the lights. And I spent $100 on a protein skimmer. And next thing you know, here I am, $1,000, $2,000 into the hobby. And it was only supposed to be 30 bucks, you know? And the whole time, I'm like, well, it's $20 just to go fishing. So I justified it. And, you know, I could have bought a boat. But instead, I've got this. And sometimes I think about it, and I'm like, you know... If I just saved that money, where would I have been? But then again, when I see these guys swimming, and I see the symbiotic relationship 
of old Gumpy Gills down here. It makes me smile, you know? I've got, the, the ocean is 800 to 1,000 miles away from here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 200 miles to Atlanta. So, it's, it's golly bum. And look at these guys. They're in my living room, just chilling. Just chilling, bud. And it's like, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Sorry about the rant. I hope you guys enjoy this, but I mean, it's not for y'all. You know what I mean? It's for me, and I love it. It's a very expensive hobby. Uh, over the past six months, I've not spent any money on it. You know, other than the water changes, which is the light bill, and you know, um, I think it's what nine hundred or a thousand cubic gallons is like nine dollars or something. I don't know. I don't know. But it's it's barely anything. Chump change, drop in the bucket. Oh look, old boy's coming back out. Ooh. Ooh, I'm coming to get you. You better run. You better save him. Alright. Well thank you. That's a six minute rant. I hope it doesn't look awful. Bye.